What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So we got some breaking news, man. Anthony Joshua just signed a 100-pound deal with Matchroom Boxing. The deal is, worth, is over three years, um, a three-year extension. Um, so that's probably going to be a pop, you know, uh, over three years. I don't know. That's probably, what, 33.5 million or something like that. Um, I saw this on boxing scene. Uh, that translate in U.S. dollars. It converts to one hundred thirty-five million four hundred ninety-four thousand nine hundred dollars. An estimate around, rounded off to about one hundred thirty-six million dollars U.S. money. You know what I mean? American money. That's what it converts to. And uh, uh, um, and pounds is a hundred pounds, hundred million pounds rather. So you know, uh, my thing is with this man. This is what I'm thinking. I read the article and I read what Barry Hearn said, and uh, Barry Hearn said that um, um, uh, I, I we're not pressuring AJ to do nothing, but you know he's like family. So if he don't take it, you know it'll be like family, basically. And I'm paraphrasing again. <clears throat> it'll be like family disowning family type of thing. <clears throat> he said, we're not pressuring him. And then I read to the bottom of the article, it said that um, they're definitely trying to make the deal with Deontay Wilder happen. If the deal doesn't go through, then um, Anthony Joshua fight is mandatory and Alexander Povetkin. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking and I'm wondering, since Deontay Wilder, uh, Al Heyman and team offered him 50 million flat, with a 50 50 million uh 50 50 split so 50 million flat with a 50 50 million damn why i keep saying that 50 million flat up front with a 50 50 split you know um i'm wondering if this deal because this would be about 33 and a half million dollars a year right although this one fight he'll make 50 million in one fight with a 50 50 split so he'll make probably around 75 million Right. And one night. Um, but this deal over three years would give him thirty three and a half million a year. Right. Um, I wonder if they trying to use this as a bargaining tool, because Eddie Hearn, I mean, Barry Hearn clearly doesn't want him to fight Deontay Wilder next. Clearly, he said it numerous of times. He don't want that fight next. He prefer to fight um, um, uh, marinate and build up. Um, he even, you know, we saw Eddie Hearn when I did an interview with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn said that uh, his father wants to fight the build up. If it was up to him, he definitely wouldn't have to fight next. I asked Eddie Hearn. He said he wants to fight next. Joshua wants to fight next. Uh, Anthony Joshua said that he was already training. He was already studying for Deontay Wilder. He he, he wants that fight next. He's really not interested in Alexander Povetkin next. But I'm thinking if Eddie Hearn, Barry Hearn, you know, they're trying to use this as a bargaining tool for him not to take the fight next. Um, trying to show him the money like uh, uh, um, um, Jerry Maguire. Show me the money. That might go over some of y'all head, especially our millennials, man. Y'all remember Jerry Maguire? Go check that out. Show me the money. He was the agent for a star receiver. He was a star agent who kept getting fired. He, who I don't want to say kept getting fired, but he got fired from all his major clients he only had one client he was clinging to, which was a star wide receiver. And uh, the dude made him, you know, scream, show me the money, show me the money. You know, he made him jump through hoops to, to stay, to make, you know, for him to um, um, retain him as his agent. So he kept saying, show me the money. And I think this is what Eddie Hearn and Barry Hearn is doing, man. They trying to show Joshua the money, 100 million, uh, 100 million pounds, which translate uh, again, uh, it converts to 135 million four hundred ninety four thousand nine hundred dollars you it converts to us um <clears throat> so you know i wonder you know he signed this deal he's signing this deal you know um if he signs this deal and takes the joshua and takes the wilder fight man you talking about 70 million then 100 you know 136 million u.s money so that's 200 million dollars so that would make him that would put him in the stratosphere with Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather. That's the type of money he making. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if Oscar made that type of money, but that's Floyd Mayweather numbers. And he said that he wanted to be a billionaire. You know what I mean? So I could definitely see him taking 
um, signing that contract and still taking the Wilder fight. Like I said, I said in one of my last videos, go check it out. Even if he lose to Wilder over in the UK, they they still they stand behind their um, fighters. Win, lose, or draw, they still they still praise their fighters. They still stand behind their fighters. It's not like in the states. Floyd Mayweather made it popular to keep the O. If you lose over here, and you get a you get that 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 notch in the second column, man. If you get a number in that second column in the states, man, you you damn near good is done. You know what I'm saying? But over in UK. They still stick by their fighters. They still stand by their fighters, win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? We saw when Floyd Mayweather knocked out Ricky Hatton, um, the, the fans, the UK fans were still, after the fight was over, they still was cheering, there's only one Ricky Hatton. One Ricky Hatton. And that's after Hatton, Hatton, Floyd knocked him out. That's after he got knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Right immediately after, they still was praising him. You know what I'm saying? So you see... That's what I'm saying, man. Even if you take an L to UK fans, that's not everything. You know what I'm saying? So for Anthony Joshua to take an L of Deontay Wilder, the UK's fans are still staying behind him. He'll still be a star over there, a mega star, and they don't want to lose that. So if I was Anthony Joshua, I would take the um the the, the contract, the hundred pounds, and still um and still do the deal with um Deontay Wilder and get that fight on. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? If he had, if he lose to Wild, then he gets a rematch. That's even more money. You know what I'm saying? You talking about he'll probably still get thirty more million dollars from the Wilder rematch. You know what I mean? He gets thirty million dollars from the rematch. So you saying with Wilder alone, he made a hundred million. Then he signed a, a, a hundred and thirty six million, which translates in the states. That's a hundred. That's a hundred thirty six million translated into the states. You know what I'm saying? So quiet fudge. So that's $136 million over in the States. You know what I'm saying? So that wouldn't put him in the, in the stratosphere with nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Except for Floyd Mayweather. He'll be well on his way to being the billionaire like he want. You know what I'm saying? So I just wonder if Anthony, um, if Eddie Hearn and Barry Hearn are trying to use this as a measuring tool, as a bargaining tool for him not to take the wilder fight saying, hey, listen, you still going to get big money. Take the Alexander Povetkin fight. Be Alexander Povetkin. You're still going to get money off of that fight. Not to mention a contract that you just signed with us. Uh, you're going to make money off of Povetkin. You're still going to make money on the back end off of this contract that's guaranteed. And then you still fight Wilder later on. I wouldn't be surprised if that's their plan. You know what I'm saying? But it just seems like Anthony Joshua at this point is not looking forward to Alexander Povetkin. Like he said in the video, um... This fight is bigger than basically what he thought. You know what I'm saying? And, and he feel like he got to take this fight. He said he can't take Alexander Povetkin with um, Deontay Wilder still on the table. And that's the fight he needs to take basically for his legacy. It needs to take place. You know what I'm saying? It's a huge fight. He already been training for Deontay Wilder. He already been studying for Deontay Wilder. And it looked like he going to take Deontay Wilder next. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think they, this is definitely a, a, a ploy to try to get him to, to take the Povetkin fight instead of the Wilder fight. I don't think he's going to fall for it. I think he definitely, like they said, they see, I think at this point, Anthony Joshua, he watches these videos, man. He hears what's going on. He sees what's going on. He hears us saying that he needs to stand up and be a man. And I think at this point in time, he like, yo, you know something, man? Yeah, I'm going to take the contract because they got it. They got it. Listen, even if he pushed them to fight Wilder, Let's say he pushed them to fight Wilder. They can't not afford. They can't afford not to sign him because let's say he beats Wilder. If he beats Wilder, and he's a free agent, they really fuck. You know what I'm saying? So he got them backed in the corner. So if he's smart, he got them backed in the corner. They they can't. It's not like they can say, "Listen, we could offer you this if you don't take the Wilder fight. If you take the Wilder fight, we ain't gonna offer." They can't afford to take that because they don't know. Uh, if the Wilder fight is a 50-50 fight, so let's say he wins the fight, Wilder fight and he become a free agent because he becomes a free agent in November. See, so they got to re-sign him. So he takes the Wilder fight and he beats Deontay Wilder? That's going to put him in a whole nother stratosphere and he's a free agent? And with Al Heyman looming? You kidding me, man. That dude, Eddie Hearn, he would kill him, man. So they ain't got no choice. He got them backed into a corner. They backed into a corner. They ain't got no choice. This is just a ploy. They're going to just try to pep talk him like, don't do it. Don't do it, man. You, you know what I'm saying? You're making big money. But I don't think he's going to fall for that. You know what I'm saying? Because he got them back in the corner. Like I said, 
they don't know if he's going to win the Wilder fight or not. So they can't afford not to sign him. They can't afford not to give him this money. You know what I'm saying? They're just trying to use this to say, listen, we're going to do big things with you. Just trust us. But I don't think he's going to go for that. He's going to be like, nah, 50 million guaranteed up front and then 50 50 split put me in the position to earn almost 75 million in one night. Only Floyd Mayweather did numbers like that. Only Manny Pacquiao did numbers like that. Nah, he can't pass that up. Only three people in history. He would be he would be one of the four people in history. Well, I, I, I got to say one of the three people in history. So, you know what I'm saying? That's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon. Get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Murder Raw. It's your boy Blue. Holla at me. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Peace.